Alright. Render it all out. Keep on. There you go. Keep rendering. There you go. Uh, back in C Lab. Looks like it's just about morning, too. This is a good time to start leaving. So. I think I have a direction in mind that I want to go. But before we leave, we're going to need to deal with this hunger and thirst situation. So let's go ahead, prepare ourselves some food. We have some disinfected water, so that's good and all. But let's go around and look for like an air sack or something. And we're going to go try to find ourselves some Welcome like lunch aboard, before we head on out to the... Uh, I want to head to this area called the Grand Reef. Or so I've been told. I don't know where exactly it's at, but I have a general direction that I'm going to be aiming for. So we'll see if that's accurate or not. Um, I'm going to go collect me some fishies for some dinner. For some breakfast. I think actually, yeah, it's morning in the game, so it would be breakfast. Fishies! Oh, there we go. Gary fish. Ooh, I'll take the air sack. I can get us some nice water. Where am I? Oh. <laughs> I keep entering or uh, exiting the the seam off backwards. It's really awkward. Like, I don't know why. It just keeps doing that. Uh oh, I heard that. This little dude over there. Ow! I just rammed myself with the seam off. That's not meant in an in, in appropriate fashion, so apparently slowing down first is going to be a good idea. Jeez. Fine, I'll eat a Gary fish. This will be... this will top it off. Where are you? Gary fish, get back here. You're mine. Oh, you're going to be dinner. Yeah, the Grand Reef. Crazy times ahead. Wait, where's Sea Lab at? There it is. Actually, let's get some crash powder real quick. I have a way of doing this. I want to aggro these guys. Then we'll go away with our little buggy thing here. I don't think we got more than one of them. If we're quick, this will be okay. We're going to go down and then right up. Because we're looking for like some powder stuff that's found in their little eggs. I don't know exactly how to get it. But I think this should be like in the right vein. None. Oh well. Where's my buggy? Where did, oh, there's my sea moth. I totally lost it. Get over here to you. I'm eating you. Alright, we should have enough food here. Let's go ahead and head on back and get us some dinner. Or, I keep saying dinner, but it's breakfast. <laughs> it's really breakfast, guys. And yo, what's up, Navalaz? It's good to see you, dude. The slow mech. Well, there's no screaming schedule. I have been missed. Today, we've learned there are underwater dragons. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should be in the little flowers, but I don't think there are right now. It might be this patch or something. I don't know. I didn't see any. I've gotten it there before when I played this previously. It's just not there right now. So it's whatever. I'm not particularly worried about it. My welder still has a fair amount of juice left on it. And I don't think we're going to be using it. Or shouldn't have to at the very least. Oh, no, I cooked an air sac. I needed to have that for water. That's fine. We still have some disinfected water, too. And yeah, what's up, Rachel? Turning at different times these days? What a cool guy. No, you're cool. You're cool! What's up, Demonishi? Is that not, like, a good time for you? Like, in terms of, like, the, the stream schedule? Mmm, delicious Gary fish. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this should be enough for right now, in terms of food. We should be able to come back and, and eat up everything that we need. Alright. Actually, before we go, 
Can I make another little beacon thing? I might actually just put a beacon by the um, the Grand Reef, just to have it there. Because that might be really useful, actually. Just so I know where it's at once I find it. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a quick beacon. And then we'll move over there. I'm going to start leaving landmarks and like little like waypoints so I actually know where the heck I'm trying to go. Yeah, Demon Eastel, like, that's as far as like the... Inner Works parking lot about to go in. Ah, yeah. I understand that. The good news is that this isn't, like, the only thing I'll be doing. I'm going to try embracing the flexibility a little bit more of streaming in the times that I can stream. So we might still do evening streams, but they're just going to be a little less frequent right now. Um, and that would be kind of, like, bonus things. And possibly on the weekends, we might do something in the evening as well, like on Saturdays. So. Yeah, it's just one of those things, like, working now is really good for me and really easy to do in the morning. Okay, so that's where that is. So I think someone said to head away from the Aurora and like kind of towards the back of it. So I think we want to head this direction. And we're going to look for the Grand Reef this way. Let me check real quick. Two first aid kits. We got some water, a welder, a beacon. All right. That's an extra power cell too, so we should be okay. Oh my gosh, my energy is pretty low. That's fine. We'll be okay. We're gonna probably head through the kelp forest. I don't think there's anything in here like I particularly am after. But we're just gonna scoot on through. The game like pops into existence in front of me. Oh, dude, I love the sound it makes me get going full speed. A little vroom vroom. What was that? Oh my gosh. Come on, check my direction. There's C Lab. Okay, so we'll keep heading this way. And what I'm expecting is a huge drop off, and then we'll see the Grand Reef. It should be over here, though. I'm so scared just to look around. You never know what's going to be around. What's the Seamoth Fragment doing over here? Oh! <laughs> there you are. Don't look back. Oh, we're heading towards Sea Lab now. Okay, we want to go this way. Whoa. Whoa! Why did I get out? I hit the wrong button. Ah! <laughs> oh, that was scary. of a crash. What's over here? What 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 is this? What is located over here? And that's the limestone, I guess, and sandstone? Okay. I just refilled the energy on here too. Oh god. You're hitting fish. There's that. Now real quick, are we being chased? No, I don't think so. Alright, I'm gonna hop out and actually weld this real quick. Get her up to full health before we move forward. We're gonna go we're gonna be going pretty low. So it's a pretty important thing. We're actually gonna go up real quick too. I want to see my orientation to, the, to everything. Ok, 
Okay, all orientation was lost <laughs> immediately. Alright, so we're gonna be aiming basically for around... I think 125 is as low as I like, probably should go. Jeez, you are big and loud. Modification station is good. I'll just do some circles. These things don't get me. Unless I already have a modification station. Oh, it's actually the last one we needed. Seeing some more floaters around. Whew. I think the Grand Reef is down this direction. Alright, what's this? Oh, that's just quartz. It's this weird looking quartz. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Caution. Passing safe depth. Here we go. This should be it. Maybe? It might be. Which is like part of it? Keep moving. There's not like a you have entered the this zone. So it's it's kind of difficult to know. Let's go down and at least see what there is to see. We'll just have to be careful. Less spinning. What is this? It's literally nothing. What are these little things? I will collect whatever this is. It's literally just quartz. More weird colored quartz. I don't think I'm in the right place. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go way up. We're gonna try searching elsewhere. I don't think that's where I need to be. Check our orientation to the Aurora, too. Okay. You keep saying go to the floating island. Like, I've been to a floating island, but I have no recollection of where that was at. So, just so you know. Like, that's not actually going to help me out at all here. I'm not looking for, like, particularly help on that either. We kind of go where the ocean takes us. <laughs> Caution. Passing safe depth. We'll get there, though. I think I'm in the right direction. I'm wary of going too far down here when it's in dark. Warning, black 
Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Jeez, that's way too deep over here for us. Oh, that's actually the ocean. No, the, the ocean. That's actually the game, yeah. It's actually the game just kind of loading slowly. It's not actually dropping frames or anything like that. When you're moving forward, you load the game. Um, like different assets. Like you see how things are popping in? That has nothing to do with that. It's just the game rendering. It, it is still early access. It's an early access game and it is constantly in development. So what you're seeing is just one of their uh, earlier builds as far as as far as the uh, rendering and such goes. I don't know how I can go lower. Let's keep scooting along. Ooh! What are these? More limestone. I just cut something from the ship. All right, let's surface. I need to see where I'm at. Like I have an idea thanks to Sea Lab, but I'm not quite sure. All right, all right. I don't know what those are, but I need those. Do a quick scan. I, I really can't see anything. But we'll see what these are. Thermal plant fragments. Okay, that's neat. What was the other one? Two thermal plant fragments, I'll take it. You know what's up, Brandon? Okay. What the heck is this? Alright, I gotta check this out. I gotta kinda of, like, scan all these various things, because I've seen limestone and sandstone, and I've heard there actually are other kinds of things you can find. Like other little uh, bits. Alright, now we're kinda of cornered in this cave, but. I saw these little blue things, which I think is just lithium, right? Oh, mercury ore! Oh jeez, that's neat. There was another one in here too, wasn't there? I don't know what I need that for just yet, but I don't see it. I thought there were two. Is that just quartz? Oh, I just saw quartz in here with that. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh god. Where should we go from here? Also, apparently, like, I don't know if this is confirmed or not, but I do believe they probably will add multiplayer to this. They just gotta get the game, like, made first, you know, before they can really implement it. Even Minecraft kinda did that, like, before they implemented the, um, the multiplayer properly. Like, even they had to go about doing it, like, actually get the game made first, kind of thing. These early access builds usually, like, network code, like, net code and stuff like that, usually I don't think is on their priority list right off the bat. I think we're gonna have to head back. I didn't find anything on this little adventure, but we can try again. Ah! Alright. Let's head home. 
Gotta give me some food and water again. I should probably collect some fish on my way back, I think would be a good use of my time here. I was going in the right direction, I think, but I just don't think I'm quite as prepared as I need to be. I kind of want to make a little, like, secondary... What the heck are you? I want to make, like, a little secondary base. And for that, I'm going to need more titanium. And maybe a bit of glass, so I can make it actually a way in. But we're going to come back, I think, this direction with some more stuff on us. And I think that's going to be a good, de uh, good deal. This kind of looks like a safe area, like just outside the higher areas. This should be okay. I'm gonna have one of you two. I don't know what you are, but I want one. Oh, it's a Reginald. I know what Reginalds are. Are there any actual goals or objectives in the game? Well. Yes and no. <laughs> yes and no. But that's the actual game, by the way, guys. Like, you see how it kind of like stutter a bit? That's the actual game. Yeah. Stay away from me. But, uh, yeah, that is the actual game as it's like chugging along. And also, it might be my CPU. It might be like having some struggle keeping up. I might have to change it over to like game capture. We'll see. Yeah, once we get back to C-Lab, I can go ahead and mess with that. If it's being a little skippy, there should be something we can do to fix it. I could try loading it up in, like, a game capture instead or something crazy like that. Just to see if there's any difference. Because it actually could be performance issues on my side, too. Because as it, like, has to go through about, like, the business of rendering the game, it also does put a certain amount of strain on the CPU, too. Because I do have a... I need a newer computer. Sooner than later, probably. Wait, let me try that real quick, um, just to see how that goes. So we're gonna get rid of that, that's gonna go away for a second, and then we're gonna add... Game Capture. And we're gonna create a new one. And we're gonna capture Subnautica. And we'll see how this goes. Whoa, <laughs> let me fix that real quick. Uh, let's, uh, there we go. We'll try it out on game capture and see how that works. Sometimes window capture and game capture kind of go hand in hand. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. If it keeps chugging, I mean, it's not a bad idea to change it. So let's go ahead and make us some dinner. We actually came back with a ton of Reginald and Spade fish. I don't really know how they taste. But I'm excited to find out. They look delicious, and I'm not really sure just how great they are. They look sizable, yeah. Decent size, but very salty. So it might actually make it so we have a... Uh, it might dehydrate us. Well, just it doesn't hydrate us very much, I guess. Reginalds are incredible. Like, they are a power food. We have so many spade fish, we might as well just toss them in here. And I have a couple of cooked food that I can't really do anything with, so that's unfortunate. Oh well. Let's see, do I have any salt? Yeah, I got a salt. We can make a bleach, maybe. Don't I need a common coral sample for that? I do. <laughs> Tube coral! <laughs> Thank you. And let's make me, like, some properly bleached water. Yeah, I think doing a deep base is going to be good. I think that's going to be a really, really good deal. We also got, like, some more thermal plant stuff. Let's let's take a look at what that was about. Like, how do we apply that? Or maybe we didn't get all the fragments we needed. We can check our blueprints. So, it looks like we're one away from the thermal plant. The terraformer, we're one away from that. And a propulsion can, we're two away from that. So... Not bad, all things said and done. Not bad, not bad at all. We actually can do a modification station. I'm gonna do that, I think. Let's make a modification station.